guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing an Easter doodle and you're going to need a couple of materials which I'm going to explain right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is some paper. Today I'll be using paper for my sketchbook. This is mixed media paper. And the second thing you're going to need is a Sharpie. So I'm actually going to be using two different Sharpies today. This regular sized black ink sharpie and this thin tip black ink sharpie as well and you might also want to use a pencil to draw out your outline for your easter egg design before you go ahead and go over it with a sharpie and then lastly i'm going to be using brush markers for my choice of coloring materials but feel free to use whatever you want whether it be watercolor colored pencils crayons paint anything you'd like okay so now we can start i'm going to grab my sharpie this one and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to draw like these kind of squiggles like on top of each other to create like little spaces in between. Just connect this one here. Like so. Might wanna. So feel free to do as many lines as you want. I think that this is enough. So I'm going to put my Sharpie away. So once you have a good amount of lines, so this is what I, I'm happy with. Um, I did actually connect this over here because I didn't like how this line was kind of sticking out. Um, so once you have a good amount of squiggly lines on your paper, you want to grab your pencil because now we're going to start sketching our Easter eggs inside of each of these spaces here. So I'm going to start off with this one right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to just draw an oval shape because that's the, sh um, the shape of an Easter egg. So it's sort of like this shape right here. And it doesn't have to be a whole Easter egg that you can see. You can just like do it until where it extends out. So here I don't have the entire Easter egg because that would probably go around all the way here. But I'm just trying to fill in what I can in this space right here. And this is what I got. So this is one Easter egg and they can be any shape you want. Um, I'm going to draw another one in this direction. So they can also be in random directions as well and that's another one i can probably fit one more in here and then i'm going to draw one here And I'm going to go ahead and fill out each of these spaces and draw some Easter eggs inside of them. And I will see you when I'm done. Okay, so I have sketched out my Easter eggs on each of these spaces. So once you have yours, we're going to grab our Sharpie again. It's this one, don't grab the thin one because that will be used to outline the details. So with this Sharpie, I'm just going to go over my pencil lines on each of these eggs. So, and then after you have gone over each of these pencil lines, you can take an eraser and just erase these underneath the pencil lines that are underneath. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish outlining each of these eggs and I'll be back once I'm done. So I went ahead and outlined each of my eggs with my Sharpie and now is where we get to design inside of our eggs. So I'm going to start off with this one again and I'm just going to create my design. They can be whatever, they can be really random, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to do like this kind of triangle pattern on this one. And maybe another line here. So yeah. I'm going to create a design in each of these eggs and I will be back to show you what to do next. Okay guys, I'm back. So I have finished drawing a design in each of my eggs and um, I've done like different patterns here. I've got some leaves, um, some paint splashes, some flowers, these um, checker patterns, something like that, polka dots, and even these kind of um, geometrical designs, if you will. So now it's actually time to outline each of our designs with the thin Sharpie. So what I'm going to do is just go over each of these pencil sketching outlines. Then once I outline it, I'm going to erase it so you don't see the pencil lines underneath. And then we'll move on to the coloring part, which is the fun part of this. So I'm just going to just outline on top of these, the same thing that we did for the outside borderline of our egg. So I'm going to go do this and I'll be back. Okay, so this is my doodle so far after outlining it and erasing all the pencil marks underneath. So now is the super, super, super fun part. I'm going to take my coloring material, which is these brush pens, and I'm going to now just color it in. So first I'm just doing these Easter eggs, um, and then I'll move on to the background here, and then I'll do like the actual background. So I'm taking my first color, which will be this light pink, and I'm going to color in my flowers here. Take your time with this part because if you don't, then it can get really messy. So first, if you have like designs like this where you have kind of like a flower and then you have like the background of the egg, First do the designs and then you can do the background after. So I'm just going to go ahead and color in all of my eggs and then I'm going to color in these background spaces um, and choose a light color, one that you can maybe see like a little bit more. For example, a blue like this Choose like light colors for each background of each space. So for this space right here, I'll probably choose like a blue. For this one here, maybe a light green. Here a yellow. Orange here maybe. A red or a pink. So yeah. So as you can see, I have finally colored my Easter eggs and now it's time to move on to the backdrop spaces in between. So as you can see, I've already done this one and I did it with this lighter color, which sort of contrasts with the orange and pink here. Um, and there's like another eight spaces for me to color in, which I'm going to do with really light colors. And then I'll talk about this background over here as well really quick. So it's white background right now, which makes it look really unfinished, um, even if it is. But when we leave it white, it looks messy and uneat. So we're going to color that in with another color. 
maybe something that's a little bit more neutral, like a gray or a peach tan. I'm going to be using a peach tan for that. So right now I'm going ahead and I'm just coloring in these spaces for now. And then we'll talk about the background even more a little later on. Okay, so I have colored in these background spaces behind the Easter eggs. And now I'm taking my actual background color, which is this peach color, and I'm going to color in all of this. So I had colored in my background, and then I also started drawing a little design in. So I decided to do polka dots with my Sharpie, this regular sized one. And I'm still trying to finish it up, but this is what I have so far. So you guys can continue to do um, color in your background and also do a design. You don't have to do polka dots. You can even choose like these star pattern or a flower, some circles, maybe even these paint splashes, some lines in the background, whatever you choose. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll show you the end result. So this is my end result and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And I hope you guys are also happy with the way yours turned out as well. And that's it for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed doodling and drawing with me, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. And feel free to check out my other videos on this channel. So, happy Easter to those who are celebrating, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.